Naisha Richards, welcome back. Three extraordinary chefs cooking at the top of their game. Here we have an ocean trout. In the center, we have a New York strip. And over here, we have a veal chop. Naisha Richards, start with the ocean trout first. The ocean trout is cooked really, really well. Fresh bread, like, absolutely insane that you're doing that. I love it, really, really well made. I'd love to see a sauce sort of bring this together. Um, I appreciate the freshness and the vitality that I'm seeing from this dish. Really beautiful plate. I know that I deserve a spot in the final, but at this stage in the competition, it's anybody's game. Second dish is the New York strip. Richard, first, please. The steak is cooked perfectly, and look at the attention to detail on the mushroom. For me, I really love the sweet potato. I kind of like that granular texture that I'm getting. I think the steak is really spot on. It's nailed. However, I would have loved to see just a little bit more finishing salt or something to really bring that to life. To be able to put that together on the plate, it made me feel good, but... No, it's enough. Don't cry, dude. Don't cry. <sighs> and finally, the veal chop. The veal chop is cooked really, really well. I love that this is on the bone, too. And then you have the gnocchi. It's delicious. Mm. For me, the gnocchi itself is a showcasing of talent and technique. And yeah, veal cooked perfectly. Incredible. I just want to say that on this cook, all three of you deserve a spot in that finale, let me tell you. Because these dishes are definitely the next level. Which dish? has earned their right to move on into the grand finale. Please, Naisha. The dish that I am moving into the finale is the veal chop. Richard, which dish are you putting into the finale? Really, really three great dishes. Making our job tough. The dish I'm moving in to the finale is the veal chop. Chris, congratulations. The final spot in the grand finale. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, chefs. I can't believe I made it out of that alive. I dug 10 toes in and did it, but I was not sure if that leap off the metaphorical cliff was gonna be strong enough leap. Nuri, I think you've just cooked your best dish. There's no doubt. And I never ever want you to feel that you failed because at 22 years of age, young man, your career has just started. I gave him all. I was so close, so close. Just learning from you three of the most amazing chefs in the world, it's just like beyond my wildest dreams. Never lose that curiosity. Never. Right? Never will, chef. It's really beautiful. Thank you, chef. You going home, kid. But you did good. Omi, young lady, you've been a stellar performer. And not just going toe to toe, but just your attitude, your composure, and the way you light this room up. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you. To you, Chef Arrington, from day one, you're just someone who grounded me. I started off as a mom who liked to cook. To be able to see somebody like me make it this far in a competition such as this, I'm honored. And mi gente, <laughs> they're gonna love this. Thank you so, so much. The heart that you bring to every plate has hugged my soul in ways that I have never felt before. I'll never forget that. Thank you. Thank you, chefs. I might not have broken the ceiling, but I know I opened the door. And I'm not the only one. You will not, this will not be the last Puerto Rican you see up in here, up in here, okay? <laughs>